going on guys and as you know o11 data pool is down but this goes for xm rig in general how to set up a backup pool in windows 10 using xm rig so it's actually quite simple as we know a lot of people have been asking earlier o11 data pools down for maintenance getting a little upgrade here so it does run smoother for the influx of miners so we're going to close this out here and there's a couple of quick things pretty much all you got to do here is copy from right here down Copy all this, so you right-click, copy it. I have all my stuff set up, so it's copied already. Now, at the very bottom parameter right here of your uh, pool stuff here, you can see it's right by the pools here. And you're just going to put a comma in here because we need to add an extra one. And now we're just going to go space, tab, oh, tab, I hit cap locks, and we're going to paste this in. So it will paste everything here, but, you know, you put your backup pool. So all you got to change from this point on is your pool address right here. Once you do that, I picked uh, the Minifacal Mini pool. I'm not even sure how you say that, but it is a nice Canadian pool. I'm testing it out while it's down. So now this should do its thing and pick up your backup pool. Let's start it up and see what it looks like. Obviously, you do have to hit the save button before you go any further. Now that we have that all set up, we're just going to double click it here, send it to the moon, and it should verify. Uh, it's going to attempt five tries of Raptora's O11 data pool here. It's gonna try it five times. And once it does figure out that it's not going to work, and then it's gonna swap over to our secondary pool. So we're just gonna let it do its read error thing for a couple minutes, and then you will see it swap over. And now it's swapped over to the other pool, which we plan on using. So this is how in Windows 10, how you can add a backup pool to XM rig. Here we are to show you how to do it in HiveOS. Now it's pretty much the same thing, but it's one step easier. All you gotta do is copy in your new pool address. We're going to our RTM backup pool, go to our setup minor config here, or you can start a new flight sheet. Now here's our original pool. You're gonna wanna go beside it, hit enter, and just paste the new pool that you want in. Apply your changes, hit update, and that's it. You now have your backup pool in. So you send that to the moon and this is what you get. Now we're just going to send the rocket ship to the moon here. We're SSH into the rig already. So once that takes a few seconds to load, we're just going to hit minor here and it's going to do the same thing that it did in windows. So it's going to go through the five seconds here. So five tries of the first pool. And once it finds out it cannot connect to it five times, it then will go to your backup pool that you have set and you'll be good mining. We're just gonna let this sit so you guys can see it for yourself. And there we see it did its five tries here, couldn't connect. It is moving on to the pool we do have as our backup and you're good to go. Now you can add like five, six, seven, eight, 20 pools if there's 20 pills you wanna do, 20 different pools that you do wanna use for backups, just keep doing exactly what I showed you. But this is how in Hive OS that you do add that backup pool to XM rig. There we have it guys, just a quick guide I thought I'd throw out there because people were asking about this. So there it is. It should be able to get you a backup pool going on in XM rig and it does not matter on the coin you're mining. This will work for anything to do with XM rig. Thank you for watching everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe, and like this video, as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday, so stay tuned for more future content.